thinking about aromaticity. So a series of molecules here, what are they? Aromatic, anti-aromatic, or non-aromatic? So what is what? Aromatic, non-aromatic, anti-aromatic. So let's look at A. What is A? Aromatic, non-aromatic, or anti-aromatic? Anti-aromatic, right? Because where's boron at in the periodic table? Boron has an empty p orbital. So that's like a carbocation, and that's an even pair. So this is actually, and right, it's too small to get out of the way. So this is actually anti. What about B? What is B going to be? B is actually aromatic then, right? B is aromatic because, right, how many, how many electrons are in the system? Two, four, six, right? Six will work, 4n plus 2. Oh, there's an odd number of pairs of electrons in the system. So that's aromatic, right? Because again, this is like a carbocation. Boron's like a carbocation. Essentially, it has an empty p orbital. sp2 hybridized, empty p orbital. What about this one? Aromatic, anti-aromatic, or non-aromatic? Non. -aromatic? Non, because it's, it's big enough where it can get out of its own way. Right, non-aromatic, so it's going to pucker, so it's not planar. Right, one of the, the things that are required for aromaticity is has to be flat, planar, in a, in a, in a ring, and all, everything has to be conjugated, right? Which brings us to the next one. Right, so C is non-aromatic. What about D? What is D? Aromatic, anti-aromatic, or non-aromatic? Non-aromatic, that's right. Right there, that's sp3 hybridized, so that's not a conjugated system. Yep, it would be... It wouldn't be acidic because if it had a negative charge there, then it would be an anti-aromatic system. It could be. So, or it would be non-aromatic, probably. But the next one, what's this one going to be? Aromatic, anti-aromatic, or non-aromatic? It, I'm going to say non. I would probably accept anti. But this is, this is still kind of a, this is a seven-membered ring. Where is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's close to that borderline where it could maybe pucker itself to get, so it's not planar. So I would say non, but anti's probably okay, too. So it'd probably, it'd probably be big enough to like make itself so it's not planar. Aromaticity again, taking a look at three compounds. Uh, so A, B, and C. Aromatic, anti-aromatic, non-aromatic. A is? It's non-aromatic non-aromatic because what's the hybridization state of that nitrogen? Has to be sp3. There's no p orbital. So it's an uninterrupted system now. So it's, it, no, sorry. It's an interrupted system. So this is a non-aromatic because that nitrogen has to be sp3. There's no, there's no p orbital. So it can't, it's not, it's not fully conjugated. What about B? B is aromatic, anti-aromatic, or non-aromatic? B is aromatic. That's right. And C is non-aromatic. Non and don't, don't get lost. There's the sp3 hybridized carbon sitting there. Don't get lost along the way. So this is non-aromatic too. Good.